So you leave Mercury. Yes. Well, Mercury. I didn't leave Mercury. You didn't I, leave I, Mercury. I didn't leave Mercury. So <laughs> Willingly? You, you know, it was, it was more of um, Leo Cohen wanted me to go over to Def Jam and run retail. So funny story, and look it up if you want. Met the Man's album was coming out. Mm-hmm. And uh, Leo Cohen, as an intern, I, you know, I made a couple sparks. I was always out, you know, going to tunnel, this and that. And um, Leo said, introduced me to Russell. And thank God for Russell Simmons. He says, I got the number one retail marketing guy in the game. We got to hire him. We got to hire him. We got to hire him. So Russell, of course, says, well, if you're the number one retail guy in the game, how many records is Method Man going to sell? And I don't know where I guess the angel on my shoulder, my guardian angel, somebody came to me and spoke for me and said 122,000. And Russell says, man, if you got 122,000 records, I'll give you $1,000. And Leora said, if you got 122,000 records, I'll double that with $1,000. <laughs> and um, he sold 121,872 records. And um, I was invited to the Def Jam Christmas party, which was the hottest party in the world. If you could get into the Def Jam Christmas party, you was on fire back then. And um, I go into the Def Jam Christmas party, and Leo goes, Russell, we owe him some money. Well, he goes, Russell, we owe him some money. And um, Russell says, okay, he digs in his pocket, pulls out money, and Leo pulls out money. And I'm 22, 23 years old, and I'm seeing $2,000 in cash in my face. And again, my angel came to me again and said, no, 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 you guys keep that money. I might need a favor later on sometime. Not all money is good money. And not, when, not every time you're right do you need to remind people you are. Sometimes being right is just for you. And there's something else going on later on. And there's another plan for you that the universe has. So I didn't take the money. And then Lior had a, a, um, a great run with uh, Chris Lighty and Irv. And then I left Mercury, went to Universal Distribution for a New York rep. And um, Dawn Marie Gray was at Reebok and she was leaving Reebok. She says, James, you need to come over here. I was doing product placement before we even knew what product placement was. So if you look at the Benjamins video, Puff is having, has Reebok um, batting gloves on and Reebok cleats on. If you look at Mace's um, press shot, Mace has DMX sneakers on. So I was in with that because I knew if I would have went to Reebok, everybody would answer my call because I had free sneakers on the other line. And Reebok was the primary sponsor of the Rucker tournament up on 155th. So now I'm around all these rappers, all these street guys, but I'm holding my own because I'm the Reebok guy. Reebok was the first company to ever endorse and sponsor a major African-American owned tournament. And that was Greg Marius, may rest in peace. So I was up in there with all the rappers. And um, you know, make a long story short, once I, once I did that job, you know, Puff said to me, he says, listen, when people see you, they see Reebok. I need people to see you and see Bad Boy. I need you to come work with me. Now, Puff and I have met for years in the parties, in the clubs. He's promoting Red Zone on Thursday. I'm doing Red Zone on Friday. You know, he's doing Emerald City. I'm doing Emerald City. You know, he's running around dancing for Father MC. I'm trying to run around dance for Musto and Bones. You know, there's a lot of comparisons there. Not a lot of people know that. And, um, you know, Sean was definitely with a beautiful, beautiful, incredibly spiritual, wonderful woman named Jessica Rose. Can, 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 can I interject yeah, yeah. for one second? Sure. Because I think it's extremely important. There's so many gems that you just dropped. And I want to reiterate to anybody who's watching this on video, anybody who's in this live audience. Number one, you started as an intern. Mm-hmm. You get an entry level position in the company. But... Look at the names. Like, it's, it's never too early to make your presence felt. Mm-hmm. I 100% agree with everything that you said. You keep your head down low. You let your work speak for yourself. But if you're really, really hustling and you're outworking the competition, people will notice you. Mm-hmm. Ed Eckstein, um, Leo Cohen, mm-hmm. Russell Simmons, you get recruited to go over to Reebok, but not just going over to Reebok, but I love what you said about recognizing the opportunity, how Puff had, you know, Reebok, the, gloves. The Reebok yeah. gloves on, and you're like, hey, you know what? If I go over there, it's an opportunity for me because people will pick up my call. And through that, you're able to now, you've met Sean Combs before, but now your relationship deepens and he wants to start a business relationship with mm-hmm. you. So, you well, know, you know I just, the, the real reason why he wanted to, because they wanted to figure out how the hell we did that Allen Iverson lifetime deal, which wasn't me, it was Q Gaskins and Todd Krinsky, but I was very instrumental in making that happen. Because Allen said one thing, and back to this racial time, Allen was the number one hottest basketball player on the face of the earth, and everybody was after him. It was like, you know, when LeBron was coming out, because Chuck was it. 
His name is Bubba Chuck, sorry. And, um, but Chuck came to Reebok and said, how am I gonna put my life and my career in your hands when you have nobody in your company that looks like me, walks like me, talks like me, addresses like me? And at that point, people had to pay attention. It was important to have individuals from our backgrounds, individuals that understood the culture from the inside out to be a part of this corporate culture. I see. To be a part of this corporate culture and maximize the awareness, but also to establish communication with the stars. Because Allen Iverson couldn't deal with Pete Roby, who happened to be the basketball coach for Harvard University at the time, even though he was a black man. He wanted to deal with Q Gaskins, who walked like him, dressed like him, talked like him, came from the same neighborhoods as him. He wanted to be next to me. He wanted to be next to individuals that understood the culture. So in knowing that, we took an opportunity and, and exploded it. And once that happened, Puff was like, hey, wait a minute, what's going on over here? And brought me over to Bad Boy, um, which I always wanted to be next to Puff. I can't, I can't lie. For it to work between me and another client, I have to be your biggest fan. It just works better that way. That true belief in the other person and making their dreams come true makes my dreams come true. So whether it was Puff, whether it was Busta, who are probably my two favorite artists on the face of the earth, it was important. And then there's Big. We'll get into that later. However, what I will say is this. Had it not been for the need of African-American and Latino individuals in corporate America, none of these opportunities would have came to light because we became such an important force in generating revenue. And that wasn't just about endorsement or sponsorship or, or any kind of equity ownership. That was just because they wanted to talk like us. They wanted to be like us. I remember doing a presentation where I brought Fat Farm and Cybertech and all these urban brands to show Reebok what colorways they should be making, to show them how they should be positioned, why their, why their sweat should be baggier than the cuts that they were making to speak to an urban audience. And that knowledge, that self-knowledge, that self-confidence that we mattered was part of the reason why I was able to do what I did. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.